Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, the team investigating the shooting down of Malaysia Airlines flight MH17 say the missile launcher used was part of the Russian armed forces and that the book missile which hit the plane came from Russia's 53rd anti-aircraft brigade. This is the first time a specific unit has been named by the investigators. All 298 people on board were killed when that plane was shot down over eastern Ukraine in July 2014. Our reporter Lorna Shaddock has been following the story today. So what has this report said? Well, the investigators have concluded that the missile launcher did belong to that 53rd anti-aircraft brigade from Russia. And they've done that by tracing the journey of the convoy back to Kursk, the city of Kursk in western Russia, which is where the 53rd brigade is based. And uh, we can see here now this is from that presentation that was given uh, by the joint investigation team this morning. This was the uh, graphics that they showed and they've gathered videos and photos of what they say is the missile launcher. You can see it there uh, en route to Ukraine and they've used dash cam and social media footage uh, to recreate that route and this video in particular is filmed in the village of Troitsky it said to show the identifying mark as you can see there that number uh, on the missile launcher itself uh, and then uh, they also show the route that they believe that missile launcher took uh, from Kursk in Russia to Ukraine. You can see it there and, uh, and they've geolocated photos of it on the day of the attack uh, and the day after the attack as well. They showed those photos to, to three towns in eastern Ukraine, not very far from the crash site itself. As well as all of that, they have also recovered the missile casing and other components. You can see it there uh, from the crash site. And they have the identifying numbers on them, some of them even handwritten, as you can see as well. Uh, the team's hoping that that, that um, in particular might help them come a bit closer to identifying the exact crew that operated the missile that was involved in that crash. We urgently appeal to everyone anywhere in the world, who can give the JIT more information about the following? Do you recognise the handwriting of the number on the Venturi? Do you have information about the numbers on the Venturi and the casing? Or do you know someone who can tell us what these numbers mean? Are you or do you know someone with information about the missile in which these parts have been placed and to which unit this missile was delivered. So what happens now? Well, as we heard in that press conference, still a lot of questions to be answered and, and investigators say one thing they're still looking into is uh, how active members of that 53rd Brigade in Russia uh, might have been in, uh, in the attack itself, in launching the missile. Uh, but the investigation's been going on for four years now. It involves officials from lots of different countries. And prosecutors say they have presented their findings to Moscow. Uh, the Russian military has responded today. They say that uh, no Russian missile complex ever crossed the border. They deny having anything to do uh, with the crash. Uh, Dutch officials, though, say they are still working on uh, bringing a criminal case uh, on this crash. Uh, they're not ready to bring charges yet, but they've narrowed down, they say, the number of suspects involved from over 100 to uh, a few dozen. Uh, and any trial that might take place would happen, they say, in the Netherlands, because uh, that's part of an agreement between all of the countries uh, whose passengers were on that particular plane. It can't happen at an international tribunal because Russia has already used its veto at the UN uh, to make sure that international tribunal could not be set up. But uh, the, the D Dutch Prime Minister in particular has, uh, has welcomed this. He's flying back uh, early from a trip to India uh, in order to, uh, to, to discuss these findings with his cabinet. And the Dutch Foreign Minister as well has said that uh, all of these findings are an important piece of the puzzle. Okay, plenty more to come. Lorna, thank you. I've been